Space is tight on the walls in the hallways of St. Francis de Sales Catholic Academy. <laughs> That's because it's been 20 years since the school had this many students. We've made great efforts in our diocese of trying to increase enrollment um, and, you know, let people see the value of Catholic education here in Brooklyn and Queens. 209 Catholic schools across the country have closed over the past year. Nationwide enrollment fell 6.4%. But in the Diocese of Brooklyn, registration is up 1,500 students compared to this time last year. And at St. Francis de Sales Catholic Academy, 569 students are currently enrolled. That number will be shooting up to 638 come September. The interesting thing is how the enrollment has grown this year. Granted, excellent. Judy Lindner says her students have adapted seamlessly. Let's go to Jack. Watching her over and sometimes through plastic shields. We are the church. Her first graders don't take up too much space, but next year there'll be more of them. And because we are growing in enrollment, now Mr. Schaubach is able to make the first grade into three classes. And it's not only first grade that's had to modify. Oh, it used to be our uh, cafeteria. As enrollment climbed, Principal Schaubach has had to transform the entire school. Uh, one thing that the pandemic has had us do is to really be creative in, in how we, you know, you know, structure a school. He says it's sad to see so many people forced out of Catholic schools by the economic effects of the pandemic, a problem they've tried to keep under control at the school. We've tried to be a little bit more understanding, trying to work with them around it. And we also have a tuition assistance committee for anyone who has, you know, fallen on tough times. St. Francis de Sales' motto is anchored in Christ. Staff says that mindset has kept them afloat. We continue to put faith first. So as the school continues to make room, repurpose, and squeeze in where they can, Mr. Scharbach says it's the artwork, prayers, and projects on the walls that remind him a Catholic education is a gift. In Bell Harbor, Jessica Easthope, Currents News. If you're watching Currents News on YouTube, be sure to hit the subscribe button and click on the bell to get updates to all of our newest content because we are putting your faith in the news.